Hey everyone, Dylan here, and in today's video, uh, I'm going to be doing just audio only. Um, let me know how you guys feel about just audio and if you're okay with it, if uh, you prefer this, and because uh, uh, right now, it's a little difficult to set up actually filming and um, with my setup, it, I have to move, move a bunch of furniture and I have to get things lined up and it's it's honestly just more easy for me to um for me to record just audio and not worry about the video part so let me know um <laughs> how you guys like it and all that and I will uh see like I said uh maybe in like product reviews I'll still do the videos we'll see we'll see uh but uh anyways this is just kind of a more chill casual uh video wanting to talk about um caffeine man I I've actually wanted to like make some videos but I've just been so tired and the reason why is um just to back up a little bit I had been uh, probably since February of this year I don't know like many many months I had been drinking a sugar-free monster every single day so they have about 140 milligrams of caffeine and because of this I was dependent on it I got like a cold I got a sick you know something a normal sickness that existed before the pandemic that's all I'm gonna say and um I didn't feel like drinking an energy drink that day and then I like had a really bad headache and headaches that are kind of like ruin your day and you can't really function for the day because they are really bad sometimes and for me that I was like you know I kind of don't want to be dependent on this stuff anymore and so I decided okay I'm going to just go ahead and quit. And I do things cold turkey. And um, I actually really like the taste of sugar-free monsters. So I enjoyed drinking one every day when I woke up. And, uh, you know, it has the perfect drink that I'm looking for almost, which is, um, you know, something in a cold can that's carbonated, that has multiple, multiple fruit flavors that taste good to me. Um, the only thing about it is that it has caffeine and I would prefer it not to have caffeine, but, uh, you know, it's the closest thing to the perfect drink for me that I like. So with that being said, um, another thing that about this is there are side effects with quitting caffeine, uh, which I knew, but I didn't know the extent of them. And uh, this is why I haven't been filming any videos and I've been so tired is, um, uh, well, I, I'm one that um, I don't know if people knew, know about that um, quitting caffeine can cause anxiety. Now, luckily, I have not had this symptom, but it is one. And you think, you know, that that sounds like ass backwards. Because you're like, oh, well, isn't caffeine the thing that causes anxiety? But because you get so hooked on it, I guess, um, because you get so hooked on the caffeine, you, um, your body kind of freaks out and you get more anxious because you're not having it, uh, which is interesting. But now the other symptom that I've been having is, um, insomnia slash not much sleep. So I quit caffeine for like two weeks right like no more you know I said no more caffeine at all quit cold turkey you know I, I went through my one day of having a really bad headache which I've you know experienced more so I knew what to expect there but uh, I did not anticipate the sleep issues I was gonna have I assumed my sleep would get better at least after a week right uh, especially two weeks and what ended up happening was um, I was not able to sleep more than like two and a half hours. Um, I would wake up like like after two and a half hours of sleep, would not be able to get back to sleep. And I'd be up for like, you know, 12 hours, uh, be up most of the day. 
And then at some point later on at like 9, 10 p.m., uh, I would be just so tired and I would fall asleep. I would fall asleep and, you know, I would fight it as much as I could. And some points I knew I'd fall asleep. So I just went ahead and went to sleep. And again, I uh, slept only um, slept only two and a half hours. So I was sleeping twice a day, two and a half hours at a time. And it was awful, as you would imagine. Um, I was really tired because I wasn't getting proper sleep. And then on top of that, I wasn't getting the stimulus from the energy drinks and the, the caffeine every day. So it was a double whammy effect. So I was just so freaking tired. And I like struggled to really just do anything or have the willpower to do anything. And um, so... After a little while, um, I started to be able to get a little more sleep every so often. I would, like, you know, my, my max at one time increased. It's like a video game or something. Uh, and so I, um, I, uh, was getting, like, you know, three hours. Then it kind of, and eventually, you know, moved to four hours at a time and then heck I got like five hours eventually um after two weeks like it took two weeks before I started to get five hours and even then um you know 12 hours later would roll around you know that 9 to 10 p.m time and I would just crash man like and there was nothing I could do about it I couldn't stay awake and so I would just sleep so I was take again still sleeping about twice a day and like still like I had a little more energy but it is bad and this so like <laughs> this is kind of like where I've been at I've been wanting to film videos but I've just been so damn tired and I, I did not anticipate that my sleep would get so much worse like I figured like the symptoms or withdrawal symptoms would have like went away at least after like two weeks but i'm like here now still kind of i did end up drinking an energy drink after after two weeks i was still having trouble i decided to drink one just to see what would happen because i had to get up we had to go to the store and i just was just really tired and needed a boost so i did and um i but weirdly enough i ended up getting a little bit more sleep uh that night and um, I still ended up waking up and then had to go back. But I was able to get back to sleep. I, was, I like got up at, I got up at like, um, like 5 a.m. or something. And then uh, couldn't get back to sleep. But then I was, I was up for about four hours. And then, then I laid back down at like 9 a.m. And was able to get back to sleep for a little bit longer. So I was able to get more sleep. And uh, so then I like, you know, took a day. Like the next day I didn't have an, an energy drink kind of like saw you know how things were and then and then now we're here today where um i've chosen to drink another energy drink so um i am indeed back on on the energy drinks um i uh i did i do enjoy drinking them i did kind of miss them so yeah you know uh, give and take but i i made my best effort and like geez i mean some people might say because I was drinking like one every single day for like, you know, six months or more that it, it may have taken a lot longer for my body to get back to normal. And but I mean, <laughs> I just could not. I just could not live live like that anymore, like being just so drained every day and having a very small window to have even the slightest amount of energy to do anything. Um, so I was just like, you know, I enjoy drinking the energy drinks anyway, so I'll just continue to drink them. Um, the withdrawal cycle, just like the symptoms just took too long to clear up before I'm just like, after two weeks of just being nothing but tired, I'm just like, I've had enough. If drinking energy drinks will fix this, then we'll see. Um, I, I may come back with an update on this after i've re restarted drinking energy drinks for like a week or so you know and like tell you how my sleep's kind of 
gone if it's like recovered and gotten better since I've drank the energy drinks again, which sounds so stupid. Like, oh my god, like, oh man, like, like I said, you could argue that maybe, maybe I would like I had to go longer or something, but it's just too long. So that's kind of um, where I've been. I've wanted to film, but just I've just been too tired. <laughs> I'm just too tired dealing with that. So, um, yeah, and, and and I'm still kind of tired and recovering from it. So that's why I decided to just you know just do some audio. You know, I can do that at least, and you know, without having to set too much up in here and all that. So yeah. Uh, this has been my experience trying to quit caffeine. So, uh, in the comments below, let me know. Have uh, you tried quitting caffeine? What is your experiences? Have you had these same, like, sleeping issues <laughs> that are really weird? you think my sleep would have got better after two weeks. And But, I mean, maybe, maybe what I should have done is, like, not quit cold turkey. But that's, you know, that's my personality to just go all in but maybe if i would have done it more slowly i would have had as bad an impact i don't know but i guess for right now i'm, I'm back on the, the energy drinks um but yeah so like i said let me know what your experience were like experiences were um if you're okay with just audio um if you care if i'm in video form or not um you know, I've, I've obviously filmed like 120 videos with me on camera to prove I exist. So, I mean, I don't, I don't really need, need to be on camera necessarily. Um, but just let me know what you guys think about it and the audio and all that. And uh, yeah, I hope, uh, I don't know. I hope you guys are having a good day. You know, enjoy your life for what it is. I don't know. Uh, for why, when you have energy. Uh, but yeah, uh, sorry if this has been weird. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for listening. And I will see you guys in the next video.